The speech processor uses two small microphones to pick up sounds. It turns those sounds into signals and sends them to a transmitter. The transmitter sends the signals through the skin to the internal implant. The internal implant converts the coded signals into electrical energy and sends them to the electrode array. This stimulates the nerve fibers in the cochlea and the signals are recognized by the brain as sound. So this is real life. You know, people get cochlear implants all the time. It's not that, it's not that old of a technology, but what is it doing? It's replacing your ear. It's jacking in basically to the nerves that are inside your ear and allowing you to hear. Now the problem with it is that it's got a very low input fidelity, right? It's not really like hearing. Um, you know, the experience that you have in a movie of hearing voices is nothing like the prosthetic ears or the, um, or the cochlear implants that we have now. Now, will they get better and more and more high fidelity over time? Yeah. But this is the way that you should look at, at sort of cyborgness, the current state of the art of cyborgness, is that the biggest problem with it is that it's really low fidelity. So we had no problems with fidelity and hearing during, um, in, in virtual reality, but in cyborgness, getting an ear that hears anything like your ear really hears is really, really tough. Your ear is amazing at being able to hear things, and the best we can do is you know, um, something that has really, really very little relationship to what you'd call hearing. So no, there's no here, we have only input, right? We're only, we're, only, we're only doing into the ear, we're not doing into the eyes or anything else, so it's low fidelity in hearing. Um, it has very, it has uh, no output fidelity because there's nothing output, there's no, there's no behavior going on here. And there's no, so there's no output fidelity and there's no output effectiveness. Belief that you're actually hearing, well, you know, this comes from talking to people or, or hearing about people who've actually had these. Some of them rip it out. Some of them say, you know what, not hearing was better than hearing this way. And so I would say that's low belief. Right, so they can get to no belief or low belief where they don't even want to do it. And so, but then other people, you know, especially younger people who, who get it earlier in life, who can, again, train themselves to deal with the low fidelity and make a lot out of that low fidelity, um, they can get, they can become to, they can get to be immersed in it, but not as immersed ever really as someone who's got the full range of hearing. So prosthetic ears, um, cochlear implants are low fidelity, no output, um, and don't really give that great of an experience. Not yet, but they're brand new.